Welcome back to Tampa Bay Morning Blend's ultimate football party in preparation for the big game this weekend. And with us this morning for some pregame analysis are members of the Buccaneers defense. We've got Clinton McDonald, Will Woo! Golston, and Akeem Spence. Guys, nice to see you. And I would guess that once you've played football at the professional level, <laughs> you watch football games a little differently than the average person. I mean, are you always like analyzing and critiquing and tell us what it's like to watch a, f a football game as, as a football player. I have to turn the sound off. <laughs> it has to be completely quiet in the room and I'm, you're right, I'm just looking completely at defense. I'm like, okay, ah, uh, nah, he, sh he should have did this, he should have did that. But it's fun still. All right, so we got to ask when you're, which where are we? You're going to be in Atlanta, Clinton, just yes. before. Yes. All right, where are we watching Super Bowl? Do we have plans yet or the big game? I um, think we're going to probably try to Try to bring it back to Tampa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Meet them yeah. back in Tampa. Yeah. Okay. Watching in Tampa. Yeah. Hey, and let's point out, too, that if by chance Atlanta does win, guess who beat Atlanta earlier this season? Yeah. You guys did it. So, in, in essence, <laughs> the road to the big game kind of went through Tampa this year, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. We'll say yeah. that. So, when you are watching, though, who are you rooting for? I mean, I know it's got to be bittersweet. I mean, um, you know, Atlanta, they, they, uh, they're in our division. Uh, really don't want to root for them. So <laughs> no, I know, I can tell. Right in the AFC. <laughs> That's where I'm going. Hey, I'm, I, I, I wanted to – oh, go ahead. Yeah, I'm, go I'm, ahead. Not, I'm not going for Brady. Uh, <laughs> went to Michigan. Okay. That's all it. Right. That's all. I don't have Clinton, any. last time you were here, you said yeah. – I, th I think I'll go for the defense. You know, I, it's, it's, it's going to be a close game. I don't want Atlanta to win because they're our rivals, but at mm -hmm. the same time, I want to see a good defensive play game against one of the number one offenses in the league. Do you think we'll get that too? I mean, is this going to be a close I think, game? I think this will be a, a high scoring shootout. Um, I think it'll be pretty close though. The over under is something like 58 points or 58 and a half. It's crazy. Mm. Man, they got two f high powered offense, man. They yeah. can light yeah. it up. They can definitely light it up. Both teams, you got Tom Brady and you got Matt Ryan on the other side, so they definitely can light it up. Yes. Hey, to switch gears a little bit, speaking of lighting it up, uh, lighting it up uh, earlier in the season, you guys were kind of up and down, up and down, and then the story circulated about the letter that Jameis Winston left for all you guys in the locker room. Can, can you tell us uh, maybe a little bit about what was in the letter or, or what, what, what it, how it motivated everybody? Because it's like a switch flipped, and all of a sudden you guys were in the zone after that letter. We're not going to go too much into the, yeah. what was in the letter, but the letter stood for uh, or symbolized, you know, Appreciation in a sense, yeah. appreciating everybody on the team. Respect. Uh, respect for everybody on the team, um, having a general concern for your teammates. And uh, with that type of attitude, we allowed, uh, it allowed us to go and prepare ourselves to win more games and be more team oriented. Yeah. Yeah, that, and that's pretty much it. And just uh, for me, just seeing a young guy in year two making that step, bringing the team along, I mean, that spoke volumes about who he is as a person, as a teammate, and just made guys want to go out and play hard for him, man, and uh, get the job done. And I think that kind of rallied uh, our team after that meeting. Yeah, I would Pretty say cool. so. Pretty cool. Hey, I want to get your thoughts. The big news this week, uh, John Lynch taking over GM, this <laughs> new position. Were you guys surprised? What are your thoughts on that? 49ers. I think he's a, a good choice. Mm -hmm. A Hall of Famer in there, know how to evaluate talent. He's covered games before. He knows what to do. He's been in the office, so I think they, it's going to be a good good thing for the Niners. He's yeah, going to have a busy. So. He's going to have a busy off season. Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. very busy. <laughs> hey, what do you guys do in, in the off season? I mean, do you kind of maybe let the diet go a little bit? Have a little fun? <laughs> what, what do you, how do you spend the off season in the NFL? Ah. Uh, for me, I, I just got back from Colorado because I love snowboarding and skiing sure. and stuff. So went out, did that, ate all type of burgers, pork, chili, all that stuff <laughs> that they had up there. Man. It was real good. Some of this right here. Yeah, <laughs> this is a good start. Yes. yes. <laughs> well, and you do, I know uh, most of you do a lot of charity work as well. I have to congratulate you, Clinton, on your big award that you're up for. We're going to find out here soon. Yes. yes. So congratulations. Tell Thank us about you. this award. Um, um, it's, it's one of the highest prestigious awards in the NFL. PA that are awarded to men around the league who are definitely involved in the community, but it's also propelled and voted upon by the teammates. So they recognize who you are, what you do in the community, and it's just an honor to be uh, voted amongst my teammates for the award, and it's an honor to be in the top five finalists for, for that. Yeah, that so right top now. five finalists. Yeah, sure. uh, so congratulations. Thank you, Thank you for Thank all you. that you do. Thank you. Deserves it. Let's bring it back to Atlanta for a second. I do want to get your so that thoughts here before we wrap up on this new massive stadium oh that they are building. <laughs> you guys are going to be playing there uh, yeah. soon. Yes. 
I mean, it's huge. What, I mean, does that get you excited to play there, even though it's Atlanta? Does it make it hard? I mean, give me your thoughts on this, uh, this stadium. I'm super excited to be able to play there because it's a new stadium. Yeah. You get a chance to win in a new stadium against the yeah, opponent. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> um, I like it. You know, the opportunities are endless, and like the blo way it blossoms open yeah. and closes back, uh, yeah. no, that's, that's, that's sweet right there. It looks like Jetsons Stadium. Yeah. I mean, I've never seen anything <laughs> like that. Now, do you know, is the, do you know if you – who will play the first game against Atlanta there? Will it be you guys? I'm not sure. We have our opponents lined up. We don't have the schedule lined yeah, up yet. Okay. Not lined up. Boy, that would be nice to take them down, though, in the new stadium. I know. Wouldn't that be sweet? Hand them their first loss. Love to do it. Love to do Opportunity. Yep. All right. Gentlemen, well, thank you. We appreciate you being here this us. morning. Bucks defense, everybody. Stick around, yeah. We'll have some more stuff for you to do, more stuff for you to eat, relax, enjoy. <laughs> yeah, we're not done yet. Up next, we're going to throw down <laughs> the challenge to one of our favorite mixologists to create